Hello, P4 students. Welcome to our Maths for class. And again, this is Miss Claire. We are now on Chapter 7. It talks about area and perimeter. Are you familiar with these lessons? Okay. So in this video, before you will learn two topics, we have Lesson 1, Estimate and Measure Perimeter of 2D Shapes. And Lesson 2, Estimate and Measure Areas of 2D Shapes. So what is area and what is perimeter? Okay, I have here an example. I have here a problem for you. You can also find this in your student's book, Math for Student's Book, Chapter 7. So look at here, this is Kaz. She wants to measure the perimeter of the top of her desk. So what should she do? Okay, if you know the answer, if you can remember what is perimeter, you can share that during our class. Now look at the thinking cap without using a measuring tape. Can she estimate the perimeter of this desk or how about your desk in your class? Okay, children. So during our class, I will discuss more about this lesson. Come on, let's move on. Okay, I have here a problem. Estimating the sides of a rectangular card. Andy wants to estimate the perimeter of a card. This card is drawn to scale below, so help him to find out by using your finger tip to estimate the length of each side of the card. Okay, you can try by using your fingernails. So we, when we estimate, we are not going to use ruler. So the width of your fingertip is about 1 cm. So we can use it to estimate the length. So what do you think is this side, children? This side, the shorter side, yeah, this is about five centimeters. So if you have a longer fingernails, maybe that is four. How about the longer side? The longer side, children, is what we call the length. The five centimeters here, this is the width. So the length is about seven centimeters. Okay. So when we estimate and finding the perimeter of this rectangular card is we are going to add all the length of this rectangle, right? So we have 5 cm, the length, and 5 centimeters is the width, and we add another 7. Why? Because the upper part is also the same. That is also the same with 7. And also on the right side, the width, that is also equal to the left side. So we will add 7 2 times and 5 2 times. So the total is 24 centimeters. So that is what we call opposite sides. So the opposite sides of rectangles are equal. So if we use roller children, you can find this in your math students book. So if we use roller to measure the perimeter of this is, this is actually 6, the longer side, the, the width is 4 centimeters. So 6 plus 4 plus 6 plus 4 and that is 20. So the estimated perimeter, the 24 centimeters is closer to the actual or the exact perimeter. So what is perimeter children? By looking at this example, we can say that the perimeter is the total distance around the rectangle. Again, perimeter is the total distance around a rectangle and any other 2D shapes. Okay, okay let's move on. Okay. Now let's study estimating and measuring areas of 2D shape. Okay, so look at this picture. IZ wants to find the area of the rectangle. How she will do that? Now at this time we are going to estimate and measure the area. So now at this time it's area. What is area before? Do you remember? So look at this 
rectangle it is inside in a grid right so how will we find the area of this rectangle okay stay tuned as i will discuss this we will go back to that problem later okay or during our class now how would uh, you estimate the area of ic's rectangle before we find the actual area so before we find the actual we are going to find also the we're also going to find the estimate or we are also going to estimate the area okay let's find the area of a rectangle I mean traces the outline of an eraser on a one centimeter square grid he colors the shape she has traced to find the area of the eraser take a look okay look at the eraser okay so the area of each square one square like this this one the area of one square one square or one square like this is one square centimeter so how to read this one square centimeter is cm then there is a two on the top it is read as square centimeter so this is one square centimeter now look at the eraser how many squares is it inside in our grid okay let's count one two three four five six okay so the area of the eraser is six square centimeters okay before so what is an area then okay the area is the part is the flat surface the area that is covered by the by a 2d shape or an object okay the area is the is the space that is covered by the object or a 2d shape okay i have another problem let's guess and estimate the area of a rectangle billy has a square sticker the side of its sticker is one centimeter. How many such stickers can cover the rectangular piece of a paper shown below? Take a look. So Ellie makes a guess by drawing squares on the paper. So this is one square centimeter. So if she will going to cover this paper with this sticker, how many stickers she needs to cover okay can you make a guess or can you estimate okay so by illustrating this one how many squares then it has 10 right so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so it will be covered by 10 squares or 10 stickers so he needs about 10 1 cm squares to cover this rectangle. Therefore, the estimated area of the rectangle is 10 cm square centimeters. So this is what we call estimating. Okay. Next. Let's find the exact or the actual. So what is what is exact means the actual. Okay, how to find that? Okay. A. Lee wants to find its exact area of the rectangle. He cuts out the rectangle and pastes it on the 1 cm grid. The rectangle covers 8 1 square cm squares. So earlier the estimated is 10, but at this time it's only 8. So the area of one square centimeter one square is one square centimeter therefore the area is only eight so there are only the area of this rectangle is eight square centimeters so again children what is area area is the space covered the flat 
surface covered by a 2D shape or an object that is an area. Okay, let's move on. Okay, now let's find the total area of carpets. So I have another problem. Amy and Ellie have two carpets. The carpets have areas of 8 square meters and 10 square meters. Okay, they join the carpets without overlapping. Then, they show the area of its carpet on a square grid. Okay, so like this. So, they, put, they connect these two carpets. So, how much space will both the carpets occupy on the floor? Okay, take a look. So, the first one, the green carpet, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the other is ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, what is the total? Yes, it's eighteen. So, the area or the space covered occupied by the two carpets is eighteen square meters. Okay, so, so this is the calculation for this. So area of the green carpet earlier is 8, right? Then the orange is 10. So we will just simply add them. So we have 8 square meters plus 10 square meters. So the total is 18 square meters. So both carpets occupy... 18 square meters so this is what we call area before the space occupied by the shape okay the space that it is being occupied okay so how can you arrange the carpets in different way without overlapping okay can you arrange this carpet without overlapping you remember overlapping now uh, what can you say about the total area? Is it still the same? Okay, if you know the answer, you can share that during our class, okay? Okay, P4, that's all about lesson one, estimating and measuring perimeter of 2D shapes. Remember, when we say perimeter, that is the total distance around 2D shapes. It could be a rectangle or a square or any other 2D shapes. Now, lesson two is estimating and measuring areas into the shapes. So, when we say area, that is the space occupied by a 2D shape. So, you just count how many square units that is being occupied by a 2D shape. So, thank you for watching. Uh, before, I will discuss more about this lesson during our class. Always remember to stay safe and healthy. God bless everyone and enjoy the rest of the day.